Glock 9 is not coming home. It's your favorite look, especially after I just spoke. Support the real, get rid of the fake. How do you do that? Go ahead and subscribe. Then follow me on Instagram at C E D D Y N A S H. One word. I do follow back, by the way, and like pictures and all that. What's up with the visionaries? So I wanted to wait, bro. You know what I'm saying? I really wanted to wait until details and all that and everything, bro. And I don't like to say that people are for sure going to jail for a very long time. Unless I'd have seen the video, bro. But knowing how all you need is hearsay or a witness to throw away the key. With Glock 9 being charged with five attempted murders. Each one of them carrying 20 years. <laughs> so what, you looking at 100 years? Bro. The His... I guess he shot at one of his cousins. I guess one of his cousins is his ops. It happens like that. It's in the streets. That's how it go. But the damning part of it all is his cousin. I mean, not his cousin, but the girl who snitched happens to be the half sister of one of the dudes who was in the car. Now, she wouldn't throw him under the bus fully. She was like 50 50. But she said Glock 9 and a couple of cats hopped out of two cars toting pistols and got it cracking. Let me tell you something like this, bro. Ain't nothing gangster about shooting no house up. You was true sucker if you shot a house up. Now, did he do it? I don't know. Did her description, no matter what happens, just damn him to jail? Absolutely. I don't see no way out of this. I'm going to be honest. I don't think he gets life. I probably think he gets like 20, 30 years. <sighs> It's one of those things where perception and all that and everything like that be crazy. I seen Lil Buddy on the Vlad TV interviews and stuff like that. He didn't look that harmless. But, you know, Lil Buddy been going to jail. The, the thing was like, oh, yeah, he, been go he went to jail like 12 times before he turned 18. Something like that from GTAs and holding pistols and all that and everything like that. For him to do something so stupid, if he did it, it's one of those, I can't care about the person. I'm not sorry for that. At certain times, certain criminals, and I'm not saying he did or he's a criminal, but it's certain criminals we can't care about. I remember talking to, a, a actually having a, a, a damn conversation with an off-duty cop in a random ass place. I don't know what bar it was and stuff like that. And a coon ass dude, not the cop, but the other dude, and everything. And you know, they like, What do you do? Blah blah blah. And I'm like, Man, I, I drive trucks for FedEx. And then, cuz, like, Did you used to be a gangbanger? Or are you a gangbanger? I said, Nah, I know about cats in the streets, you know, but I don't, I don't indulge in none of that. I know what the hell to say. Then he gonna say something. This the black dude, off duty cop, just enjoying himself. I don't know if he was like a union rep or whatever, cuz. But anyways, long story short, he said, why don't y'all go out and march and protest when somebody kills a kid or if they snatch somebody's purse and all that? I said, you know why we don't have to? Because they get arrested. Why do we need to protest that somebody got arrested? Unless we're saying free that man. So what are you talking about? Shut him up right there. I don't want to hear that. Bro, we don't want every criminal, every bad person, none of that stuff out, bro. That's not even true. So if he did it, man, bury him under the jail. I'm not sorry for that. They killed a three-year-old little kid and all that and everything, bro. I'm out on that, bro. Shooting up houses is a no-no. And killing kids, you deserve a bullet in your head. I don't care who you are. I don't care what the scenario is.